Hello all, welcome to Public Cloud Design Tips and Tricks again. Today's topic is Azure Managed Grafana, but today I will try to cover the part one of this session, which is fundamentals of Azure Managed Grafana. And in next session, I will try to go a little bit uh, deep into uh, Grafana uh, aspects. Uh, the background again, uh, we'll, we'll have a deep dive into Azure Managed Grafana. What is Azure Managed Grafana? So it's a data visualization platform built on top of Grafana software via Grafana Labs. Okay, so Azure uh, Azure has this managed product from Grafana Labs only. Now, what it does, it brings together metrics, metrics, logs, and traces into a single uh, plane or single user interface. Uh, it has an extensive support for different data sources to pool the data for the visualization purpose. It can create complex dashboards uh, with uh, different data aggregation capability. Now it can produce even real-time data visualization capability. Okay, so these are uh, the features uh, for uh, the, the, these are the features. That is why we should use uh, Managed Grafana. Now, uh, why we should uh, use uh, Azure Managed Grafana. There are two perspectives of it. Uh, the first one is uh, the capability of Grafana itself. So it brings all telemetry data into one plan. Now it can access a wide variety of data sources because it supports different uh, heterogeneous data uh, sources. Uh, it can combine charts, logs, and alerts into one dashboard. And uh, it can uh, it can produce a 360 degree view of application and in infrastructure logs. Uh, then it can start correlating information across multiple data sets. So these are the Grafana perspective. Now coming to the Azure uh, perspective, Azure Managed Grafana has a seamless integration with uh, EntraID, uh, Microsoft EntraID. It has in easy integra uh, integration with different Azure, uh, Azure Managed Data Sources or PaaS services, uh, you can say. Uh, it has an easy integration capability with the native monitoring of Azure, and uh, it can easily import uh, you know the existing data uh, dashboards that that is present uh, within uh, Azure. So that these are the flexibility and these are the easy integration capability of Grafana within Azure itself. So that is why uh, Azure managed Grafana uh, e to be used actually. Now coming to the different service tiers available for Grafana is uh, uh, two, two tiers actually. One is essential and uh, the other one is standard. Essential is just sort of a trial one uh, that is not recommended for production environments and this comes with very limited uh, uh, capability and uh, it also uh, it does uh, it also is not coming with any SLA guarantee. So this is more essential. When it comes to standard, it is more a production ready tier actually, and it, it comes with as a default tier within Azure, and it offers uh, different uh, capability like better performance uh, and more features latched into this tier actually. So these are the tiers of uh, Managed Grafana. Now, uh, this I have captured from Microsoft sites, and this is where you will uh, get uh, the difference uh, uh, from a feature perspective when you compare to essential and uh, standard tier. So the um, technical blocks that has been uh, tried out here is zone redundancy. Zone redundancy is more available to the next uh, zone within the region. Then deterministic outbound IPs are the uh, different user-defined uh, IP ranges where you can uh, route your uh, traffic from Grafana to other sources apart from the supported uh, data sources. Private endpoints provides a secured capability when you start consuming Grafana from different other services. Alerting again uh, within Grafana itself, uh, you can set alerts, emails, SMTP, again different output channels. Reporting image rendering. Uh, then API keys service accounts comes into picture when uh, a service connects to Grafana um, by various methods like APIs, keys, and service accounts. Uh, data source plugins, uh, like when you try to connect, uh, you know, uh, different other 
sources like Prometheus, Azure Monitor, and Data Explorer, GitHub, all these things. So that is uh, the data source plugins. And Grafana Enterprise again is uh, you know come as an option uh, within standard uh, tier. Okay, those are optional. Uh, that is optional. But uh, when you when you start using Grafana Enterprise, you can have more data sources uh, uh, supported there. Okay, and that comes with a license cost. So overall, if you see, uh, like uh, standard uh, comes with every features, but whereas essential doesn't come with any features. I mean, it has only very minimal features. Okay, so that is how you can differentiate with, between essential and standard. Uh, now there are two basic ways, like uh, for other services also, you must be knowing. I mean, there are two ways you can create uh, Grafana. Uh, is uh, through Azure portal and Azure CLI. So in Azure portal, uh, when you search for Azure services as managed Grafana, then you will come up with uh, the capability Azure managed Grafana as shown in this diagram. And then once you choose this, then you have to enter the basic information like subscription ID, uh, then resource group name, which region you are uh, trying to operate. Uh, do you really need API key uh, creations uh, for the authentication purpose? Do you really need a uh, deterministic outbound IP? So these are uh, different information that we, you will be landing with. And then once you, uh, you know, once you have all the information ready, then you will be landing with uh, the Grafana workspace. Okay. Uh, from the role perspective, it is more a RBAC permission on the Grafana, kind of admin role, reader role, operator role. So these are different roles that you can set up within Entra itself. And that gives you a capability like what kind of operation you can do on top of uh, Grafana workspace. So this is how you can create using Azure portal. And coming to Azure CLI, there are a set of uh, CLI commands that you can use. Uh, like first you have to log in and then same you have to create a resource group with the reason. Then you can create a, a Grafana workspace. And then once you have that workspace created with the same CLI command, then you will have that URL of uh, managed Grafana that is being created in the backend. And you can take that URL and if you go to a browser with that URL, then you will be landing with the... Uh, it uh, you know a control plane like this so where um, you can you can follow this uh, diagram okay so these are the uh, cli commands you have to operate and then you will you can easily access the graph now so this is azure cli you are working so this session is just to land you into uh, managed grafana uh, in the next session we will be discussing uh, more uh, you know features like what kind of data best uh, data sources it supports how you can connect different aspects of connectivity to the data sources all those things we'll be discussing in the next session i hope you like it uh, thank you and have a good day